What's up guys, it's Dante aka Game Fear Fear of All Game Set Back giving you another drama scripted and if you're new here this is drama scripted where I go to the most notable things that happened in this past week of wrestling but how I start off with every drama scripted I start off with the ratings and we got Raw with its lowest rating in history ever with 1.33 million that's because there was literally two Monday Night Football games instead of one uh, we got NXT with its, with, its, with its highest rating since April with uh, 824,000, and we got AEW Grand Slam 3 with 984,000. So, over the past days, September 21st and September 27th, WWE has released a combined total of 20 superstars. Um, I wish the best for all the the people that that got released uh, this is comes after a couple of days of the endeavor combining uh ufc and wwe to the stock thing tko and days before over 100 employees were let go from wwe now they're uh doing budget cuts on the superstars and to be fair a lot of these some of these names took me back. I didn't think some of these names would ever get released. I thought they would, you know, just finish out their last contract and retire, go to somewhere else. But I didn't think that they would get let go. And the vast majority of these names, they just was they just wasn't used, or the company didn't really have anything for them. So, or you know, drama, and no one wants to deal with deal with drama. But here comes the full list. Uh, I'll put the full list right here. Um, but we have Emma, Rick Blues, Eli Elias, uh, Mad Cat Moss, Top Dollar, Dana Brooke, Mansoor, Mace, Quincy Elliott, uh, Commander Aziz, Shanky, Udius Lillian, Daniel McCullough, Brian Moretta, Kevin Vendora Cortez. Now here are the, some of the big names. Shelton Benjamin. WWE released Shelton Benjamin. They released Mustafa Ali. They released Matt Riddle. And the biggest one in this list is, is Dolph Ziggler. I didn't think they would ever release Dolph. Because it seems like you could do... You could throw... You could literally throw Dolph Ziggler anywhere. Main, uh, Low main event card. Uh, mid card. You could throw Dolph Ziggler anywhere. And he, he would be... Um, entertaining. So I, that's that's kind of crazy. Uh, so I think 19 year career for Dolph Ziggler, and I think a 21, 21 or 22 year career for for Shelton Benjamin. Like both those two decades of entertainment uh, from from both talents. Matt Riddle release really doesn't surprise me because of all the drama. That he comes with in his personal life, and then you know, the 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 drug violation, which we all can assume what type of drug he was doing. Um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's just like wow, like a, you could indirectly say like, oh, I'm 33, so you can indirectly say I grew up watching Shelton Benjamin and Dolph Ziggler on WWE television because they've been they've been with the company more than half my life. So that's just that's just crazy to see them not retired. It's just just for them to get to get released, it's just it's just crazy to me. Um, a lot of people on this list, they just didn't have really anything for them. I guess the maximum male models fell apart, and they took um, what's her name and put her with Alpha Academy. So Shanky, all Shanky did was dance. There really was nothing. Top dollar after he did the botch and then WWE made a storyline out of the botch. I was like, okay, uh, I guess uh, this is gonna suck, but I'm pretty sure WWE isn't gonna keep him around soon just just because of that botch. I don't know. WWE is is, is, is weird sometimes when they come with releases. Matt Cap Moss they didn't do anything after the Baron Corbin storyline. Yeah, he won the Andre the Giant. I don't know, Memorial, but I think I'm starting to feel like that thing is cursed. After he won that, they just went just went downhill. They didn't do anything with him. Um, they haven't really done anything with Rick Boo since he came back from the torn ACL injury. 
Uh, he was okay with Shinsuke and Asamoah, but then he came back and then really didn't do much. Um, they didn't really do much with Emma. They really didn't do much with Elias when he when he came back. So it's like a lot of the, a lot of this talent they were just they were just not being used. So, but I wish them best because yeah, at the end of the day, this was their job. So uh, I wish them the best. I hope they find something soon and i hope they land um a good roles where we could see them perform perform elsewhere i'm really interested to see where dolph is gonna go if dolph can see continues to wrestle i like i like i'm really want to still follow dolph i think he would be extremely good in like a new, a new japan um setting so i'm really really interested to see where where dolph goes but who knows? Uh, this may someone may turn into the to there may be a new indie god. Watch your watch your back, Matt Corona. There's there's a lot, there's a lot of competition that just got released on on the twenty second. So I don't know if, if if Matt can hold on to that to that indie god title with you know the likes of Shelton Benjamin and, and and Dolph Ziggler. You know now it's, it's free to do whatever they want. So. Um, but, but wish best of luck to everyone that got released. Um, it sucks, but that was basically when it comes to news, that was basically it. Just all those releases, uh, apparently WWE, um, they got new TV deals. I'm not going to make a statement on them yet because I still want to get all the facts for you. I just don't want to say anything. And then if something comes not true and then. Yada yada. There was a rumor that with the new deal they would take Monday. They would take Monday Night Raw and put it on Tuesdays. That's not true. Raw is going to stay Monday Night Raw. But I'll bring you back next week with uh, all the details on the the networking deals that have been ironed out. I know uh, the SmackDown deal, the new deal is is one point. 1.4 billion so they're making an extra 400 million dollars than they were in the last smackdown deal that was five years ago it was what 1 billion for smackdown on fox for five for five years now the new deal is is 1.4 billion so i guess you know yesterday's price really isn't today's price but that's gonna wrap this up on this week's drama scripted remember there will be a drama scripted every week and until next week guys i'm game fee for no games and i'm out here later and peace be safe everyone